His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safariya Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the newly appointed Minister of Parliament Affairs, Ghanim Al Buainain, and Minister of Information Affairs, Ali Al Rumehi, who took their legal oath before His Majesty the King. <laughs> وأن أحترم الدستور وقوانين الدولة وأن أذود عن حريات الشعب ومصالحه وأمواله وأن أؤدي أعمالي بالأمانة والصدق his Majesty the King wished the ministers every success in performing their duties and assuming their national responsibility to serve Bahrain and its people, commending their competence and expertise which qualify them for their positions. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أقسم بالله العظيم أن أكون مخلصا للوطن وللملك ونحترم الدستور وقوانين الدولة ونذود عن حريات الشعب ومصالحه وأمواله ونؤدي أعمالي بالأمانة والصدق his Majesty the King affirmed the importance of developing media equipment and facilities to keep up with the comprehensive development process of Bahrain. He highlighted the important role of national media in reinforcing unity and spreading the values of religious tolerance and coexistence, in addition to serving the society and promoting Bahrain's accomplishments in the various fields. His Majesty the King pointed out the necessity to consolidate deep-rooted cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities to achieve more national gains in service of Bahrain's progress and its people's prosperity. He highlighted the legislative authorities' role in supporting comprehensive development and defending the nation's issues in regional and international events. He confirmed Bahrain's continuous developmental approach to achieve more accomplishments in all fields and sectors, expressing pride in Bahraini loyal competencies who exert tremendous efforts in service of the country. For his part, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his directives asserting that the government will do its best to implement them in support of national development and to contribute in the development of the media sector and in reinforcement of fruitful cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities. He wished Minister al Buainain and Minister al Rumehi success to achieve the aspirations of the people. Meanwhile, the newly appointed ministers expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for his royal confidence and confirmed to double the efforts in service of the country and the people and to promote Bahrain's honorable status among advanced countries. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received Al Ghadibiyya Palace today with a number of senior state officials. The meeting reviewed national issues and governmental efforts to improve the level of services provided to citizens. The Prime Minister affirmed that Bahrain's strength in its people to overcome all challenges, commending Bahrain's success in dealing with difficulties and foiling many conspiracies thanks to the wise leadership of His Majesty the King and the unity of the people. His Royal Highness stressed that the government is working with all available resources and capabilities to meet the needs of the people, confirming that improving the citizens' living standards is the main goal of all governmental strategies and projects. The Prime Minister highlighted the strong bond among the members of the society, which contributes to reinforcing national unity against all attempts to spread division. He pointed out history has documented the loyal stances of the people when it comes to the security and stability of the homeland.
Commander of the Royal Guard, Brigadier General His Highness Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa hailed the Unmanned Systems Exhibition and Conference UMEX 2016, which was held in Abu Dhabi under the patronage of Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and UAE Armed Forces Deputy Supreme Commander Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The exhibition was launched by the Vice President of the Executive Council of Abu Dhabi, Sheikh Hazza bin Zayed Al Nahyan, which showcases the latest innovations of simulation and training. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed pleasure regarding the wide participation of UAE companies in the conference and added that they have succeeded in creating strategic partnership with international companies. Shura Council Speaker Ali Al Saleh chaired the weekly meeting today, and the council approved three decrees regarding the amendment of some provisions of Sharia courts procedure laws, the cessation court laws, and judiciary laws. The council then expressed congratulations to Bahraini and Arab women on International Women's Day, highlighting the efforts and achievements of women in various fields. The council also praised the role of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in supporting Bahraini women. The council also praised the role of uh, the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council of Women, Her Royal Highness uh, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, in enhancing the role of women and supporting equality in order to achieve uh, social, economic, and environmental goals. Chairman of the Supreme Council for Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa met today with Dutch Professor Tom De Jong in presence of health ministry officials and a medical team from Salmania Medical Complex SMC. In hosting, SMC is hosting Professor De Jong to perform a number of surgeries for congenital defects for children, which comes in line with the wise directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to intensify bringing in international specialized medical expertise to treat patients in Bahrain. The Dutch professor is set to perform a number of surgeries from the 6th until the 8th of March in accordance to the health ministry's plan to benefit from international experts to treat critical conditions inside the kingdom and provide training for SMC staff. The Minister of Information Ali Al Rumehi expressed his utmost thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his royal confidence and expressed honor in performing his national duty. He also affirmed the ministry's commitment to develop the media field in the kingdom and to enhance GCC and Arab media relations in various fields. 
The Supreme Council for Environment announced today the events and activities marking the month of environment set to be held during this month. During a press conference, CEO Dr. Mohammed bin Dana said the 34 events come in line with the social partnership between the government authorities, societies and environment organizations. Dr. Bin Dana asserted the importance of achieving sustainable development to preserve the environment and show the beauty of the Bahraini environment. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain Television. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,175.08 points, a rise of 0.80 above last closing. The rise was in the commercial banks and investment sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 85% of total shares. 55 transactions involved 2,341,578 shares, worth 167,870 BD. Good evening and welcome to the sports news on Bahrain Television. A number of officials from the Bahrain International Circuit and ministry representatives in the Kingdom of Bahrain held the annual coordination meeting in preparation for hosting the 2016 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. The meeting also included the major changes in the promotional campaign for the race, along with presenting the comprehensive plan which targets the sports fans from around the world. The event is one of the biggest on the Kingdom's sports calendar, which will be hosted from 1st to 3rd of April. <laughs> 